hey guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel so today I did this spider look which I have actually done for the past two years and I kind of just want to recreate this look every year and just see how I improve I guess and it's honestly such a cool look for Halloween the spider on the face and the lip face this is an eye on the eye and the lip I tried doing the spiders almost exactly the same I'll put the years before right here like how I did it before and before I would do the makeup the eye makeup very very glam but I kind of wanted to do more of like a a dead eye makeup look if that makes any sense like I'm dead and the spiders like taking over my body like possessing me so this is what I came up with and if you want to see how I got it then please keep watching Alrighty guys, so this is how I'm starting out. I just have foundation on. I put blush, but it for some reason I like, got super patchy and I just did my eyebrows. So that is how we are starting. I'm going to do this eye and normally the times that I've done this before, I've done like a pretty eye and then the spider. But this time I kind of want to look like I've been possessed by a spider demon. So I'm going to go ahead and just do what I think that that looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead with my NARS bronzer and go into my crease. Just very patchy. I'm not like blending. I'm just going to kind of like dab the the bronzer around. I'm also bringing that down into my lower eye area like where my bags would be into the inner corner along my nose just did a random nose contour there I'm sorry I didn't realize that that was gonna happen my fingers do what they want sometimes I'm just pushing this brush like everywhere and now I'm gonna kind of do the same thing but I'm gonna be using the shade trade right here from the lunar beauty um life's a drag palette but i'm gonna take off as much as possible because i don't want this to be too intense so i'm like tapping it right there and i'm gonna go ahead and kind of do like the same thing like a very splotchy look but yeah so that's how the eye looks and also if you ever want to do like a black eye this is kind of a technique that you can do is like the whole like splotchy effect i think i'm gonna go in with a little of this purple and the smallest amount of kiki which is like a greenish greenish turquoise and I'm gonna tap off some of that just lightly you know, and just add it in random areas okay and I'm gonna just kind of like bring it out a little out of the eye it looks like I got punched in the face and it's healing. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a small little brush like this. And I'm going to go in with that shade Snatched right here. And we're going to create little blood vessels. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it like that and go ahead and move on to the spider eye and get that started. So for the spider eye, I want to black out that whole area. So I'm going to go in with like a little angled brush. I need to clean it and then I'm just going to go ahead and peck on that whole eye area black. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the Suva Beauty black onto my lid using some water alrighty so that's kind of filled in and now I'm going back into my life's a drag palette and I'm gonna take that black shade 
which is called Shady, right here. And I'm packing that all on top of the black that we did and really does not have to be precise. I did kind of a precise shape for no real reason because it doesn't really matter, the shape. Okay, so now that's what it looks like. And we're going to make that look a little bit better soon. But now I'm going to go ahead and start the legs of the spider. So I would map them out normally, but I don't think I'm going to map it out. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. Let me see. I want to look at a reference photo of how I did it last year. So in this front eye area, I did two little smaller legs so I'm just gonna take the leg little small legs right here like the little pinchers so that is that one and you want to kind of create the legs in sections because their legs are sectioned off so you want to make it look like this is the ending of a section and that's the beginning of a new one so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other little pincher thing sorry i'm like far away from you guys because i need the mirror so i'm gonna make a line and i'm gonna finish it off as if that's the end of the line but then, I'm going to keep going with another line and come in this way. And then, I'm going to go in with another little leg line going like that. Now I'm going to make this a little thicker. Now, I'm going to create the next leg. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is for this last little section is I'm going to bring it kind of going the other, the other way. Add some variation in there. Alrighty, so the legs are finally done, and I'm going to kind of work on the eyebrow area a little bit, but that's going to be later. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the shadow of the spider. So if a spider is standing on your face, it's going to cast a shadow, especially if it's this large. So when you're creating the shadow, you want to go from the very base of it and then drag it along actually this shade might be too light i'm gonna mix hunty with a little bit of the black so i'm gonna go from the base is it focused yeah i'm gonna go from the base of that little leg and i'm gonna mimic a similar shape and then i'm gonna connect it to the end of that leg a similar shape but like let's say like the curve is like this you kind of want it to be more of a soft curve because shadows are not as like harsh as actual things that it's casting a shadow of so i'm gonna just go over that a little bit so i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna start the shadow at the base of the leg And I'm going to bring it across. Just like that. All 
Alrighty, so that is the shadows on. I think some of them I need to make a little bit darker. Yeah, I, I want to talk about lips for a second. Actually, no, I don't want to talk about lips yet. I'm going to go ahead and use my Milk Makeup Mascara, and I'm just going to kind of black out my lashes. Look how close I'm holding the mirror to my face. Do you guys see this? I have a problem. So now for lips, I'm going to go ahead and go in my, with my MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. And now from the inside of my lips, I'm going to go ahead and take this Jordana Lip Liner in Plum. And I'm just going to create little dabs and lines. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did with the eyes, like the splotchy look, with Hunty onto my lips. I'm just taking that on a little brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that along. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of Trade and Hunty mix together just the smallest amount and I'm going to blend that kind of around my lip as if like a little infected or something, I don't know. And then I'm going to take the Revlon lipstick in Black Cherry and dab that just on the inside and that is it for the lips as of now. So now I'm going to go ahead and start doing the spider on the lips so the spider on the lips i'm not going to create the body it's just going to be four legs coming out of the lip so let me go look at my reference photo again because my brain okay so i'm just going to be creating four little legs coming out of my mouth so i'm going to start with I'm so far away from you guys. So I'm going to start out with the middle one just because I feel like it's the scariest one. Okay, so that is the first leg. Alrighty. So the legs are done. And I'm going to go in with a super tiny brush with the black in the shade Trade. Wait, no. Hunty. Sorry. Hunty. And I'm going to create the little shadows. I'm going to keep this brush very tiny. I might wet it a little bit just to keep the detail really precise. Because these legs are much smaller. So those are the little shadows on the lips. And now for the spider to finish it off, I'm going to go ahead and add little white details onto it just so it's not so flat and black so i'm gonna go in with a little brush and the suva beauty hydro liner hydro liner in space panda and i'm gonna go ahead and just create like little details all around the spider so i'm just gonna kind of add it in little random places, kind of like highlights. Also, some spiders just have white on their body. So that just kind of helped make it look a little less like flat, I guess is the word. I'm going to add just a couple on the lip. Now I'm going to go ahead and create little random details around my face. I'm gonna do those same little like veins that I was doing around the eye. I'm gonna do it coming out of the nose and out of the mouth a little. I'm gonna go in with trade and I'm gonna go around that spider just a little bit because I feel like it's too nice not like 
crazy enough. So I'm going around and then I'm just dabbing it out. I'm going to just kind of do that like splotchy look. Now, if you have a black out um, contact, put that on right now because that would finish the look off completely. I do not have that, sadly. So, this is how it's going to be and I can just like close my eye and there's a spider, you know? So, I'm just going to go over those red ones and I think we are done. Red vessels, things. I think we're good. Alrighty, so that is that complete. So you can just leave it like that. So what I ended up doing is adding like those little veins, blood vessels coming out of the spider as well. Because I'm thinking if a spider is like on your eye coming out, I don't know. Alrighty guys, so this is the completed look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoyed me recreating this if you watched last year's video. Because I plan on doing this every year and just kind of seeing how my technique changes. It's changed a little bit. So it's pretty cool. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video, which I will be doing a very special DC Comics character. So stay tuned.